This video is continuation of surface landmark of Tholux part 1. Today we will start from 6th landmark that is Costal Cartilage. Uh, see here, uh, the second costal cartilage is attached to the this is sternal angle. Then seven costal cartilage, this is seven costal cartilage. It forms um, it forms the upper part of the this infrasternal angle. This is infrasternal angle, and this seven costal cartilage it forms the upper part of this angle. Then ten costal cartilage, this is ten costal cartilage, and it forms the lower part of the infrasternal angle or the costal margin. Then come to the seventh landmark and that is rib. See in this diagram, this is scapula and this scapula overlies the second to seven ribs on the posterior lateral aspect of the chest wall. This is second rib, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven. So it overlies second to seven ribs. Then this is the lower point of the, the ten ribs. Okay, ten ribs is the lower point and it lies at the level of the L3 vertebra. This is L3 vertebra, L1, L2 and L3 and the, it is ten ribs. It lies at the level of the ten lumbar, uh, sorry, uh, lumbar three vertebra third lumbar of vertebra then uh, come to the this is 11 this is 11 ribs so this 11 ribs is longer than the 12 ribs this is 12 ribs and both of them are confined to the back and are not seen from the front these two ribs and from 1 to 7 these ribs are true ribs because they are directly connected with the sternum then this 8, 9, 10, these ribs are known as false ribs because they are indirectly joined with the sternum through the costal cartilage. They are joined one uh, with each other. Then this 11 and 12, these are known as parting ribs because the posterior end is attached with the vertebra and this anterior end is free. Because of that, these two ribs are known as parting rib. Uh, then come to the ninth, uh, eighth, eighth landmark that is thoracic vertebral spine. Thoracic vertebral spine. These are the spine of thoracic vertebra. And the, the first prominent spine felt at the lower part of the back of the neck is that of the seven cervical vertebra. Then uh, below the uh, spine of the seven cervical vertebra, all the thoracic spine can be palpated along the posterior midline. This is the posterior midline. And the third thoracic spine lies at the level of the roots of the spinous spines of the scapula. This is the spine of the scapula and it lies at the level of the third thoracic uh, spine of the third thoracic vertebra. This is 1, T1, T2 and T3. And this roots of the spine, it lies at the level of the, the spine of the third thoracic vertebra. Then, uh, the seventh thoracic spine, this is seventh thoracic spine, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This seventh thoracic spine, lies at the level of the inferior angle of scapula. This is the inferior angle of scapula and it lies at the level of the seven thoracic vertebral spine. And up to here, I uh, discuss about the bony landmark of the thorax. 